everybody. I am <laughs> happy 4th of July. <laughs> Independence Day for the U.S. Okay, so um, this morning, after we went out for breakfast, uh, we went to a couple thrift stores. <laughs> surprise, surprise. And I got these two scrapbooks, and these are kind of old. I don't know, not old, but oldish, because Woolworth, right? That isn't even around anymore. And a dollar ninety-nine. And uh, what I'm gonna do is take them apart because I specifically bought them for um, the paper, because the paper is amazing, and I love it. And so. Obviously, they made these to come apart so that you can ex they can expand as you use them. So I thought, oh my goodness, this is so cute, these tassels. So I'm going to save that part. And then I don't know what I'll do with it. Okay, so two times <laughs> I have done a video showing my how my tea staining method uh, showing me doing it and two times I have deleted it because um, I think you're seeing too much of me so I'm like nope too much Okay, I know there has to be a way to do, like, do this. Oh, well, that isn't it, but I think that will loosen this up here. Um, at least I hope so. Enough that I can get this up a little bit. There we go. So that's how they did it. Just a loop. Pretty clever, huh? Just a loop. And out it comes. And there you go. <laughs> Take it apart. Okay, because I don't need that part. I want the tassel. Very cool. I love the tassel. And um, I don't need this part here at all. More plastic pieces coming off. <laughs> okay, so this is what I want. I'm going to save the tassels. I'm going to save this little piece of paper. I'm actually going to put this, I think, in my scrapbook for today, or my daily journal for today. This one. So I can show one, right? And look at this paper. Oh my goodness. This is so fantastic. I can cut these in half. And then it will give all these pages for junk journal pages. All right, and then this one is just a different green. Similar, of course, but a little different. And it looks like it's tied a little different. So let's take a look at this one. And I paid um, $3 uh, for each of these. So, you know, at the at Goodwill, that's where I found these. We went to Goodwill and Salvation Army because they were open. So, let's see. Let's just untie all this. I want to be able to take all my little papers out, you know. But yeah, oh my goodness. Well, we went to Perkins for breakfast. It was a uh, BOGO day today. And um, so that was nice and we had a good time. And we, um, the breakfast we got, you could choose pancakes or toast or mammoth muffin. So we just got the muffin because we wanted we wanted to take the muffin home. So isn't this fantastic? So we got the muffin so we could do that. And it's an upside down pineapple muffin. So it looks like a upside down with a slice of pineapple and a cherry. So that's for some other time. It's my husband's favorite cake. So we're like, well, 
we have to do that. So there we go. I got all this fantastic paper stuff. I love it. Um, and then I've got this piece of paper that I will just use for some, put that in my spare junk journal part thing. Looks like it's going to pour again. So we got out of there. It started sprinkling. We're supposed to have off and on thunderstorms today. It started sprinkling and we um, went to Petco to get a cup. I had to get some bedding and stuff for Monty and by the time we got out it was pouring. My husband drove up I had the umbrella. He drove the car out. I jumped in. Still got wet. I mean, I was still like dripping water on my arms and my purse, even with the umbrella. It just kept my head wet. And, and it was a big umbrella, but it was so windy. And we went to Savers, which is a thrift store, <clears throat> only to discover that they had totally closed it down and emptied it out because it's going to get demolished and they're going to put senior housing there. So I'm really hoping that that thrift store goes somewhere else in Bloomington. But I got even more soaked because by then it was really windy and thunder and lightning and downpour. And I, <laughs> as soon as I stepped out, a whoosh of wind blew water at my back. And I, oh my gosh, I was so wet. Anyway, then we went, so I got this there. And the reason I got this, and this was only $1.99, was to put all this yarn, this floss in because I need a container that's not a shoe box. And I've got way too much. And my, uh, my mother-in-law gave me all this. And my daughter said she didn't need any more. <laughs> and I can use some of it, you guys, but I can't use it all. So here's my question. I wonder if I put some of this in the store, in my store to sell some of these extras. I'll use some of, I mean, I use it for binding my junk journals, so maybe I'd use it. I don't know. I also got this, and wait, was that one there, or this one? I think it was this one. These, which one was which? Goodwill. It was this one. This was Goodwill. So these are, this is a stationary set, and I figured it would be perfect for this, and I'm going to keep this piece of paper um, and just, well, I'm just going to take off this part here from my journal today. Oh, it started raining again. Anyway, it rained for like an hour. Oh, it was just ridiculous. I mean, just ridiculous. It probably poured for an hour. And um, we went to Goodwill. We went to, um, I like to keep these sometimes for making patterns for the spines. Um, what else did we do? We, and we went to um, Salvation Army. Anyway, look at these. These are the envelopes. So look at this. For $1.99, I got three of each pattern. Here's the front. Aren't these going to be beautiful? These are just gorgeous. And here's the stationery. And that, and there's three of each of the stationery, and it's so pretty. It'll make great ephemera for junk journals. So there's that. Okay, then we went to Salvation Army, and I got um, this one, Bees Knees. This is also stationery, and I think it's going to be super cute. Just got too much garbage. Oh, it's pouring out. My husband went geocaching because he figured he could beat the rain, and it is pouring. Look at this. Isn't this the cutest? These are the things, and I can use these as well in my journaling because they are so cute. Oh my gosh. I think I should take this and make like a little tip in or something. I don't know. I'm going to keep it. And look. Just look at this. There's stickers. I think these are stickers. Yeah. And then you have the cute little envelopes. And there's looks like there's two of each, maybe? With three of each. They're kind of mixed up. So here, look at these though. Oh my goodness. Three of each. 
They're just a little out of order. Mushrooms, bees, butterflies, and caterpillars. And then look at the beautiful matching stationery. You guys, isn't that just stunning? And that was just like for a couple bucks, you know, something like this. Just beautiful for this. And then I got this, all kinds of junk in there. Stationary packet as well. And this one, I'm gonna throw this away too. I got so much garbage. This one has all these envelopes. So I'll keep this. And this has all these envelopes of um, just different color flaps. So that'll be great for journals. And then it's got just these cards that can be like journaling cards. They are so perfect um, for the journals. Super happy about that find. That was a good find too. So I got some good journaling finds. I got this box for, there's a price. We couldn't find the price. So she said, um, I'll give it, she just gave it to me for 50 cents. And there was the price and we just couldn't find it. So yeah, I'll, I'll take that for 50 cents. <laughs> So that means, anyway, I um, found two decks of cards. So I found the round, this round deck. So it looks like poker chips, and they're bright green. And then this is what they look like. So I thought those, you know, I could make some cute journaling ephemera with those as well. And then I got um, these cards. Ugh, come on. And these are different because these, these have holes. Each one has a hole in the middle. So I thought, well, you know, that's unique. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it because it's a little different. So I have a bunch of playing cards, so I have to figure out where to put them. And, and I'm gonna be doing some um, what do you call it? I'm going to be doing some major organizing, cleaning of my, all my journaling supplies because I've got project boxes and stuff now and I really need to, um, clean all that up and, you know, just get it organized because it's a disaster, seriously. Poor room. So anyway, that's my plan. In the meantime, let's do some journaling. And, um, and hopefully I'll go back and tea stain. Where did that come from? So that um, you can see the tea staining. So I'm just gonna pull out this and I'll leave this open in case I wanna use any of these. I'm gonna get a haircut tomorrow, I hope. That's my hope. All right, so let's let's go to yesterday. So yesterday was um, super. This, you guys, is a pencil board. It's kind of like a almost laminated, um, but not glossy, uh, plasticky. And you can do like a ruler and it's called a pencil board and it goes in your traveler's notebook standard size so that if you're writing or whatever you can just put this under it and write and that's what it's for this is the taroko design and i got this on amazon anyway i'm using it for a bookmark at the moment but um so yesterday it was like 73 degrees low high of 86 and it was actually cloudy and kind of off and on rainy until three, and then it just got hot, hot and humid, like really hot, really humid. But work, because it was the day before a holiday, was super slow, so, um, oh, I gotta move that. Work was super slow, and, um, I wanna put this, some place. 
maybe here. Work was slow, so we, um, I finally asked, emailed our, the company's president, and I'm like, do you mind if we get off an hour early? Because there's only four of us there, and it was like, I mean, it was just slow. And he is like, yes, go home. <laughs> so, didn't need any encouragement. Um, of course, I did tea staining, and then we went out. I took my friend, my best friend, out to eat, and we went to a place that was like a half hour away from me, and it was called Fiesta Cancun. So I have some paper from the chips, and I had enchiladas potosinas, which were wonderful. And... Um, Here's a frozen margarita machine, because <laughs> we had frozen margaritas, um, which I kind of like the machine because I did have a frozen margarita, so since I don't have much ephemera for the day, I think um, that's going to be perfect for me. But anyway, we went about six, I got there about six, and it's a very loud place, but I love the music, I love the decor, and the food was excellent. Food. I had a frozen peach margarita and I couldn't even finish the whole thing. It was a medium. It was happy hour price, so it was medium for the price of less than a small, but I, I couldn't eat it all. It was just too much food. I'm going to use part of Tuesdays I'm going to give to Wednesday just because it's there's just too much stuff. Anyway, I got home. Oh, it was about a little after eight, which meant um, we did have time to actually um, watch TV. And since we didn't have work today, that was perfect. I didn't need to like worry about, you know, we could go to bed late. So we watched three episodes of Lost on Hulu and went to bed at 11. And we only have four episodes left. Now, I don't know if any of you have watched Lost. It's been a while since it's all been over. And it's six ep seasons. And um, I swear, I'm just like, my husband and I are like, it gets more confusing every season. And now we're like, we don't even get what's like, what is going on? So as soon as we're done with the last four, I am going to go online and I'm going to Google the show and I am going to look for an explanation of this show so that I can understand what the heck the show was about. Because, I'm, or unless they cleared up, you know, like in the last episode and it makes sense. But, oh my goodness, I was so confused. I don't get this at all. It is just dark outside. Okay. That actually goes quite well. That was fun. I'm going to just take off this little bit because it doesn't want to fold over nicely anyway. So I'm not going to make it. Don't let me forget. <laughs> Don't let me forget like you can tell me and I'm going to hear you through the camera. <laughs> Don't let me forget to get put owls down <laughs> when I'm done. Okay, so I want to put all the stuff from today. So today, um, today was a good day. But we um, got up and took our time. And then I had a BOGO coupon for Perkins, so we went to Perkins. I already talked about that with the cake and everything. So I think what I'm going to do is just, um, I have lots of things. So let's start with the Perkins um, let's Start with the Perkins thing first. I have... They don't have any like cards, like business cards, so it's or takeout menus. So it's really hard to get ephemera for Perkins. So since we took home the muffins, I was able to get this. The other thing that I can get is um, the creamer. Just the little half and half creamers have the Perkins name on them. So Doug had creamer with his coffee, so I'm like, just give me the give me the lid. <laughs> he just rolls his eyes and gives it to me. He's like, he un he totally understands. In fact, he looks for stuff for me. So when we're out doing like 
thrift stores and stuff, he's always looking for stuff for me. And he finds things, which is really cool. Not everybody gets that, so I am certainly blessed, and I know it. Okay, and let's put this little Petco thing here. Here we go. We'll put that there. And then over here, because I got all this, I'm going to just put bits and pieces of this um, stuff that I got at the stores. This is probably a good case for, I should just make a pocket, right? And put this stuff in the pocket because it would make sense, wouldn't it? To just kind of save all this in the pocket. In a pocket instead, I think it would. I wonder if I could just make a pocket out of this actually let's do that I can cut it down a little bit and it, it won't hurt it any. so let's see if I make a pocket here I still have to cut it down a little more just do a little more on both sides let's see there we go I think that'll work and then I can just put this stuff in the pocket which is really gonna be so much easier. And plus, I haven't done this yet, so I think I'll do this as a flip so you can still read that side. So I'll just put um, some washi there, and then on here, I'm just going to use this thin um, double stick tape. That's the top. It's thundering outside, you guys. I do love the thunder. I really do love listening to thunder. And I like it even more when I'm home. <laughs> like now. It's even better. It's even better. So I'm hoping, let's see, um, today my goal, besides getting Monty's cage cleaned, is getting all my craft stuff organized. I'm not even going to try and... Um, like, I'm not going to try to like work on my nature journal today because I've got the next two days to work on my nature journal. Um, I will be visiting one friend for sure and I will be getting my hair cut and I have to run to Kohl's to get a blouse because uh, I got free $15 and I don't want to lose that and it's just a certain time limit. And you can use it on sale stuff. So I want to just um, go ahead and get myself a cute blouse that will be for work or church or whatever. Just a cute summer blouse. That's kind of my plan. And then I want to spend a lot of time here working on my journal because I want to, my nature journal, because I really want to get that done and put in the store and the other thing is what I want I plan to do with the sale of that journal is um, there's a couple when we were first um, in Mexico um, this couple were the leaders for our first year there and then they moved to a different city and we would visit them all the time and they would welcome us into their home and take us places and we had so such a wonderful time with them. They're just a wonderful, a really, they're a wonderful couple. And um, they, well, they were like parents, you know? And we were by ourselves. We didn't have any family. And uh, when I first got there, I was four and a half months pregnant. I was four months pregnant. And then three weeks later, after getting there, I miscarried. And I didn't know any Spanish, and they, you know, helped us. And and Jane, the I never forgot this, but Jane, um, I had to stay in the hospital overnight, and she stayed by my side and um, all night in the hospital, and had the Bible and was reading to me, and you know, just really blessed me. 
Well, anyway, they had to come back to the States for different health reasons and such. Oh, maybe three years ago. And they're just living in um, a low-income apartment. Um, very tiny apartment. And, you know, they're managing, but, you know, things are tight for them. Well, their daughter and her husband and her four kids, four or five kids, they all live in the country in another house. Well, they want to buy this property that has two houses. And um, they can do their part, but the couple can't do their, you know, they just can't afford that. And, um... And so they, the daughter did a GoFundMe page, and a lot of people have been touched and blessed by their lives. And so my husband took some of his own money um, that he, you know, we had give each other allowances, and also he had made, made money, and so he took some of that to donate to them. And... Um, so I said, once I sell this journal, I wanna, I'm want i going to donate um, a good portion of that to them as well for the help. And it, it's good that my husband did it because nobody had done it. It had been a week and nobody had donated. And so uh, my husband donated and he shared it. And that helped. We all we have so many of the same friends. He shared it, and um, then other people did start like giving. But he just did it like yesterday. So I want to get that nature journal done, and then um, hope to do that just as a way of giving back. You know, we have so many opportunities where we can give back to people who have like given of themselves and their lives to us and really made a difference you know in our lives and we have an opportunity if we have the opportunity you know where we can bless them in their time of need then um i think that's a good thing so that's kind of where i'm at with that anyway they are near and dear to our hearts very much very much so okay so um, let me go back and let's just put on some owls on these pages um, I'm thinking this guy I don't know why but it's just and I'll make it thick but I like him he's kind of cu he's cute right and then I'm gonna put a little orange one right here and then here Let's see, what should we put? Which, which owl? Let's put this owl right here. And then I can put a big one here. So I'm sure I've got big owls. Actually, I do. I have a really big owl sticker. That would be so cute here. I'm gonna try doing my tea staining video again, but I gotta find uh, an angle where I don't feel like so, I don't know, like too much, too much of me is showing. This is a little like 3D owl. Isn't that cute how that flips open? And then I just need an owl for completing this page. So I need one up there. So I think I'll put him because he kind of looks like a 4th of July owl, don't you think? He's so cute. We'll put him there. And then let me see if I have a picture of an owl. Well, I know I do. I just I just have to find it. I've got to use this. Uh, you guys, I love these owls. And it's like, I want to use them in a journal. So I, that's why I'm not using that there. Because it's like, I want it in a journal. Because it's so freaking adorable. That's a card. Um, those are cards of owls. I know I've got some pictures. That's not... Come on. Oh, gosh. How about that? Somebody gave that to me. That's so cute. Let's... Let me... I'm going to do that. And this is 
an owl, I owl you ATC to Terry from Sylvia, which means I want to be able to read it. So I want to be able to tip it down, which means I'm just going to have to do it like this because I'm not, I don't want to like, want to be able to read it, you know. There we go. That was perfect. Okay, so now that is done. And so here's the pages. I really like it. Uh, I think it turned out so great. I'm very, I'm very happy with it. And thank you so much for watching. I hope uh, you're having a good Wednesday. To me, in my mind, it, it feels like Saturday. So the fact that it's Wednesday is just totally throwing me off. So anyway, I'm going to try tea staining again and see if I can do it with you guys this time and be happy with it. Okay, bye.